So the former Gold Challenge Handicap Cup Chase, I think that's probably supposed to be in a slightly different order, to be honest, but it's a three-mile handicap chase, 0-120, the top one is Grandeur for John Morgan, Kaida Carla for James Shea, Once Upon for Paul O'Neill, Amazing Yourself for Graham Clutterbuck, Ectoram Special for James Shea, Bucco and Gallagher Origin for Martin Leedham, Astro Gold and Lost Poet for Craig Beckwith, Hems uh, has got Lions Mayhem, McBurney and Silver Bullet for Alex Cherry, John Spirit and Fathom 5 for Ryan Costello and Red Cape for Thomas Rogers makes up the 15. So, quick aerial sweep of the track with clear skies and they are ready to go and off they go. A couple of good front runners in this in McBurney and Lost Poet. We should get a good good pace. They're all safely over the first. It's a very short run to the second and indeed to the third. And they get over the second and they're all safely over the second as well with Astro Gold, just the back marker, but they're already down to the third. There's a big line of fences down this part of the track. They caught thick and fast. This is a ditch, and over it they go, and it's McBurney and Lost Poet are disputing the lead with Silver Bullet on the outside as they get to this plain one. That's a stable companion of the leader, and they're all safely over the first four. And now the fifth one, which is right in front of the stand, will be the last in a couple of circuits time. And it's the way it won't, it's the water, because they'll bypass that and shoot up the other part of the track so we get a view from the stand I wanted to race guys facing the wrong way as we usually get and they suggested that they're watching it on a big screen or oh, you watch it on a big screen when you can see it from real behind you I don't know but anyway <laughs> it's Lost Poet and McBurney who are four clear maybe even five of Silver Bullet and Lions Mayhem who's in fourth and Red Cape and Grandeur and then Kyder Carla the long run towards the next after those first five fences came up really quick. A long old run to the six, looking towards the back of the field. Astro Gold is the back marker with Bucco and John Spirit just in front as they take the sixth, and they're all safely over that one as well with the pace. Pretty good. With Lost Poet in front, likes to go from the front, so too does McBurney. Silver Bullet is third, then Red Cape. Then comes Lions Mayhem and Grandeur. Astro Gold is struggling at the back, so Craig Beckwith got the lead around the back marker at this stage. But Bernie is second on the inside, and Alex Cherry's got the second and third because Silver Bullet is in third place. I expect that would be a great one. We've lost one there, something's gone. Two have gone. Gallagher Origin and John Spirit have both gone. There, so. There's two out. Bad luck for. Ryan Costello, one of his is gone, and bad luck for me, one of mine's gone. But it's Lost Poet and McBurney. Then a gap of a couple of lengths to a Silver Bullet and Grandeur. Then another little gap to Red Cape, then Ecti Rab Special. Is after that one, Kaida Carla and Lions Mayhem. Amazing yourself has got the rail. The grey behind that one is Once Upon. Bucko's on the outside in purple. Astro Gold is still the back marker, but getting much closer to the pack, and is now a part of the racing pack as they jump over the 11th. And Lost Poet seems to have won the battle to be the leader. It's had the lead pretty much all the way, but Bernie's settled in second. So they take that ditch. All safely over that one. Silver Bullet moving up on the outside of his stable mate to take a share of second. Then a gap to Grandeur and Ectorab Special as they take the 13th. A mistake there by it was kind of Carla. As once upon has now been shuffled to the back. They take the water jump for the final time. And they'll swing out for one more circuit of the track. And Lost Poet will hope to be in that position next time round as well. Leading by a good four lengths to McBurney and Silver Bullet. And Lions Mayhem and Grandeur. And Red Cape and Ectorab Special. And then Bucco and Kaida Carla. And Amazing Yourself, Fathom Five. Astro Gold and finally Once Upon is now the back marker. Down towards the final mile they go. And Lost Poet. Dynamo every poster when you want. But Bernie Silver Bullet lines may him getting a bit closer. I'm going to do a bit of jockey cam over these fences, I think. And you see, amazing yourself. Pretty tight. And we lost one while that was going on. Lions Mayhem was a faller on the inside, so the jockey camera missed the action. 
Lion's Mayhem has gone, so they won't be causing terror in the tea room today as they take the next time. We lost another one there, that's Ectorab Special's gone, so that could well be the same trainer, just lost two at the same time, because there's one or two trainers who've got similar colours, and James, Shane, Hems have got similar colours, that could both be from the one stable, it could be one of each. And it's Lost Poet in the lead then, from McBurney and Fathom 5, in Grandeur, amazing yourself is moving forward. Silver Bullet trying to get back into it, then Bucko trying to get close up for the first time. Kaida Carla and Red Cape, and then once upon an Astro Gold finds himself last again. They've only got four furlongs to go now, and Lost Poet is still the leader from Fathom Five running a big race in second. Then McBurney and Silver Bullet and Kaida Carla and Bucko, amazing yourself is wide on the track. Grand Jewels just lost his place a little bit, then Red Cape and once upon. Difficult to see Astro Gold winning from there, but stable mate Lost Poet is still going well in the lead from Fathom Five. Over the 19th they go. Good jump by Lost Poet. He's in front. He's being chased though by Kaida Carla, amazing yourself, and Bucko now over the 20th they go. Just three more to take, and they're inside the final two furlongs. These fences will come thick and fast. It'll be a test now in the final couple of furlongs. He's lost Poet, lands in the lead, but Kyder Carla out jumped him, and Kyder Carla takes it up. Kyder Carla racing down towards the final couple of fences, and Kyder Carla in the lead over the second lap. A better jump this time by Lost Poet. Here comes Bucko. Fathom Five is back in the lead again. So too's amazing yourself. He's versus five in a line, running on his once upon. They come down to the final fence. It is the water jump. They didn't go up the chute. It's Kyder Carla from Bucko. Kyder Carla in the lead. Bucko's trying to close, but Kyder Carla. Takes it. Bucko is second. And amazing yourself once upon him. Fathom five. Maybe that will be a void race because they went the wrong way. I don't know. They're supposed to bypass that in order to jump at the finish. And they didn't. Do his inquiry, says the commentator. Disqualify the winner because that was the one they all followed. Give the race to the second. That's mine. <laughs> Kaida Carla takes it. And. Once again, poor old Lost Poet set the race up for everybody else. So, Kyder Carla, the winner for James Shea. Bucko was second for Martin Leland. Lost Poet for Craig Beckwith was third. Fathom Five ran a big race for Ryan Costello in fourth. And Amazing Yourself for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.